hacen posible. A very good morning to all of you who make it possible for all the information to be transmitted daily and to all those who tune in every morning. Today we have the satisfaction, which is uh, satisfaction for the Cuban people and for the health workers even more, of not notifying any deaths yesterday. Thus, in our country, 1,046 patients have been admitted to our hospitals, which is the lowest figure we have ever had uh, during the pandemic. There are 651 suspects in surveillance and 366 are confirmed cases. In primary health care, where a large group of people is always under surveillance, there are 2,794 people in our country. Yesterday, 2,013 samples were processed by our laboratories, 20 of them were positive, or 0.99% of the samples that were processed yesterday. In this way, our country has studied 75,142 samples using PCR molecular technology in real time, and 1,830 have been positive for 2.4%. Of the 20 cases confirmed yesterday, all are Cuban, 19 are positive case contacts, 95% of them, and thus already in the epidemic in our country, 87.6% of all the cases that have been diagnosed, we're talking about 1,604 cases, are contacts of previously confirmed cases, which, in our view, is the main risk group that exists in our country. In the case of one of the 20 diagnosed cases, the source of infection could not be specified. And although we and we are investigating it, and this does not accumulate linearly because every day we are looking for the causes that generate the infection and therefore in the accumulated what we have is 54 which is 2.9 percent of all confirmed cases we look for the source of the infection because as long as we can find we can find out who infected each person we can establish very well the control measures of uh, that uh, population group. With a source of infection abroad, 131 of the confirmed cases, that is 7.1%, have accumulated. This is a risk group that at one time played an important role, and since there is no entry of people from abroad, it is decreasing. Of all the new cases, five were male, fewer cases than yesterday for 25%. Nevertheless, in the accumulated number of confirmed cases in Cuba, the male sex represents 51.4%, discreetly higher than the female sex with 939 cases. And of the people diagnosed yesterday, 15, that is 75%, is female, for an accumulated of 891, which amounts to 48.6% of all the cases diagnosed in our country. 17 of the new 20 cases, and notice how this figure increases, 17 people were totally asymptomatic for a cumulative total of 901 cases of the 1,830 confirmed cases in our country have shown no symptoms at the moment of the test, and this represents 49.2%. The age groups with the highest number of cases are the one under 40s, which has 11 of the 20 cases diagnosed yesterday followed by the one from the 40 to 60 years of age with 9, which is 
of the cases diagnosed yesterday. Of those under 40, there is a six-year-old boy from the municipality of San Miguel del Padrón here in Havana who is the contact of a positive case and he was confirmed yesterday. He had been already in a contact center and now he has been admitted to a pediatric hospital and his condition is good. We always emphasize that children in the world, and in our country even more so, we have had a total of 185 confirmed cases of children in Cuba, have really had a favorable evolution in their hospital stay and subsequently. Of the 20 cases, 10 are from Havana and 10 cases are from Matanzas. Of the 1,830 patients diagnosed with the disease, 366 remain hospitalized, of which 357, or 97.5% of the confirmed cases, that are still admitted to our hospitals units today have a stable clinical course without complications. Unfortunately, 79 people have died, and this gives a lethality of 4.3%. We always make reference to the fact that in the region of the Americas, the lethality today is of 6%, and that we have 4.3%. In the Americas, it's 6 percent and we occupy the 14th place in the region. Of the 35 countries that belong to the region, 14 have a fatality rate above 6 or above the rate of America, and several countries like Mexico has a lethality of 10.24, Ecuador 7.65, Canada with 7.26, followed by Brazil with 6.98, and the United States with a lethality rate of 6. And the countries of the Caribbean have high rates as well. As we always say, two people were evacuated, who, who we have been reporting about since the beginning of, of the pandemic in our country, and 57 people were discharged yesterday. Some people were telling me that uh, we were regressing because we had more cases today. But this just serves as a warning that the risks are still very high. And we say this because of this prob probable spikes and that we say that we, we, we will all, and I say all, because I am including the population, all sectors of society, the healthcare sector, and we will all try to avoid but as long as there are people infected in the community, asymptomatic people that we cannot differentiate from healthy persons, the risk of spreading will be present. We even saw yesterday how the temporary group in Havana dictated new measures to restrict movement, uh, of people going out, of uh, working hours, of a host of activities. That is why I say that despite the 20 confirmed cases we had yesterday, however, the balance between discharges and confirmed cases, the number of discharges, is higher in, com in comparison. It is 57 against 20 confirmed cases. All told, there are 1,000, 
383 people discharged, that is 1,383 people or patients with COVID-19 who have already recovered. We're talking about 75.6%, which is also a positive indicator from the point of view of the evolution of the disease and, among other things, of the quality of the medical care that our patients receive in our health units. Today we have to report that uh, we have the same amount of patients in critical condition and six in serious condition, two more than yesterday. Yesterday, 14 people entered the country, all, all of them foreigners, crew members from a flight uh, coming from France, restrictions remain in our country. Uh, currently in Cuba, there are 6,233 Cubans who reside abroad and 4,210 foreigners for a total of 10,443 visitors. No major changes in rental houses, 936, primarily in the municipalities of Santiago de Cuba, Plaza, Centro Habana, and Playa, as we have been reported since the beginning of these briefings. The world, yesterday, I was reading some of the measures um, being adopted for the gradual opening in several countries of the implementation of post-COVID measures adopted by countries such as Sweden and Mexico. Uh, but nonetheless, the world remains with 184 countries with COVID-19 cases. 4,223,047 confirmed cases in one single day 85,854 more cases. In one single day, 5,759 deaths. For a cumulative of 291,519 people deceased in the world for a lethality of 6.9%, similar to yesterday's. The region of the Americas reports 1,845,638 confirmed cases, 42,265 diagnosed in one single day, which represents 43.7% of the total number of cases reported in the world. And in one single day in our region, 3,464 people died due to COVID-19 for a total of 110,714 deaths, which, as I said before, gives a lethality of 6%. And this is the information we had to share with you today.